question from here? Yeah. Yes. Tim, um, one thing you didn't mention is what about time frame? I mean, can, if you're going to do one project and you're, you're approved, do you have a time frame between projects you can do and you only do one? Can you, that wasn't covered. No, it wasn't covered, and thank you for uh, thank you for reminding me that I didn't cover it. So basically, um, you can stack the incentives. So if you have a project that does more than one thing, um, you can stack those incentives up to a maximum of ten thousand yeah. dollars. Do you have? Uh, if you're going to do that now, can you come back ten years and start over? I think there is there is a break period in there. Okay. Uh, I don't have it in front of me, sorry, but I can certainly get back to that information. And certainly in the um, it's in the back end of the program as well. Okay. Yeah. If you didn't approve this, what would your budget plan for the appeal to the meetings? Is there any way that the big project was met? No, because the, the CIP plan was held for the community for the heritage conservation district plan to come in, um, so it wasn't in play prior to the part of the OMB decision. What was the question? Sorry, the question was if there was improvements made before the heritage conservation district plan came into effect, um, could you apply under the CIP for those works to be refunded? In? And what happened was that because the CIP was held. Uh, until the HCD was put in place. Okay, back. Just to confirm on the funding, if you're team A or B category, yep. but you don't fall into the CIP map, even though you're in the Heritage District, are you still eligible? <coughs> if you're A and B, if you're a blue or a red uh, dot on that map and you're within that red boundary, then you qualify. In any, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're in the Heritage Conservation District and you're an A or B building, then you qualify. How does your heritage permit work into your approval of your grant program? Ah, uh, good question. I didn't figure that out yet. You want the heritage to review the work that's being undertaken if you're your grant money for it, right? That's, that's correct, yeah. So, yeah, as part of the evaluation process, um, you know, we want to ensure that you know, those works are being consistent with the HDD. So, good, good question. I might have to call on that. <laughs> Maybe you can help Tim work that out yeah. sometime. <laughs> anyway, yep. a lunch or something, maybe yeah. uh, appropriate. Bruce? Yeah. Um, our house is uh, classified as a C. Mm -hmm. Is there any way, and uh, I'm pretty handy, uh, to become a B? Uh, <laughs> that's a question for, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I have some feelings on that. I was a little disappointed that it was only A's and B's because actually quite a lot of the C's do need the help. And uh, uh, I'll take it up with the Heritage Committee and, and maybe make a recommendation to Council that, that it be expanded this bit. But, you know, the, the, the idea was, you know, the A's are maybe the, the most important because they've got, you know, the, the age, they've got the heritage. They, they've got the location, they've got the history, you know, the bees have two of those things. Uh, the C's may be old, but they, you know, nobody famous lived there, as far as we know, and uh, it, it, it only has one of the three. But it doesn't mean it's not important to the village, and it doesn't mean that it need, the owner needs help to fix it up, so uh, that's, a, that's a good issue. Uh, I think we should be looking at that in the future. And just to add to that, what I would add, just add to that too, is that you know there are C buildings that look great and do all those things that those A's and B's do. Um, you know what you know what we might do is if we're if we're tweaking the plan and monitoring it, if if we're not getting the uptake, then why not expand it to the C's that, that are doing that as well? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's some flexibility there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted if you could expand a little bit, Tim, on not to create any confusion that the town in Innisfil is looking at a town-wide CIP as well, and that's going to be in the newspaper, so not to confuse, yes. but there's two of them, and so there's the Cookstown specific, and then there's going to be a town-wide one as well. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. I didn't uh, mention that. So the Cookstown CIP was the first foray into this community improvement plan process that we did, kind of dipping our toes in the water. Um, you know, once we got our feet wet through that process, uh, we decided to embark on a town-wide CIP program. So that is obviously much bigger than Cookstown, um, and it applies to you know places like Innisville Heights and Alcona, uh, mainly to commercial uh, developments for economic development reasons. Uh, and that CIP will be uh, coming back to council for approval uh, probably in the first quarter or second quarter of this year. And that's nothing to do with this. 
Um, but that doesn't mean that there may not be funds available under that new program for qualifying businesses in, and properties in Cookstown as well. So there might be another level of funding there for people. So at the moment then there are two CIP plans. It seems to me that, uh, and I think the heritage tax rebate program is in the works, but that's for, for heritage properties that are not within Cookstown at all. Mm -hmm but still have the same kinds of problems <coughs> and keep necessities as the ones within. So you're, are you assuring me that that is going to go ahead as well as these two um, CIPs? I'm not assuring it. It may form part of the, I'm not sure if it's going to form part of the town-wide CIP, but it's not forming part of, the, there's only one CIP in play right now, the Cookstown one. The town-wide one is still a work in progress. Um, and I know that, you know, we're certainly getting questions from the council about the Heritage Tax Incentive as part of that, and it'll be considered as part of that process. Okay, um, the, I, yeah, you yeah, have a question? Um, how do we find um, someone who can do this work, you know, a builder, a carpenter, or whatever? Does the town have a list of people you recommend? Because, you know, um, as we heard, it's not just somebody who builds some initial houses. I, I can answer that because that's kind of a lead in to the other part of the. Uh, the grant that we got. So um, let me, before I do that, let's just uh, thank you, Tim. Thanks. Uh, let's